Hi, my name is David Cobblestone. I'd like to explain today, I've developed the game ESP, the shell game, and uh, I'd like to explain on videotape so it's a little easier for you to get the concept of how you play this game. I'll move the camera a little closer. Alright, so uh, let's begin. What, what's happened here is that underneath each one of these shells is a dice with four colors on it. And there will be one person designated the setter, and they'll set the colors. And, uh, let's see. And let's uh, assume that you're playing with four or six play players, and they'll cover them up. Not allowing the other players to see, of course. And now the game begins. Everyone will get, uh, let's say we're going to play toothpicks with toothpicks today. Each player would get the same number of toothpicks. To begin, let's say 21 each, and then the, the setter has set this, the uh, colors. And now that the other four, or six, four, three or five uh, other players may want, may will, they will um, select which colors they believe are underneath these shells. And uh, let's say they say, and whatever they say, they'd write down on a piece of paper, and then re reveal what's here and we'd go around the players and to each of the players and whichever player they would say that whichever if they got if they had guessed correctly that this was the yellow they would get a, to a toothpick for each correct answer and they would give the setter a toothpick for each incorrect answer and go around and around until uh, each player has had a turn being the setter and see whoever has the most uh, toothpicks in the end would win Another way of doing it is just uh, if you're playing with one other person, kind of an ESP, extrasensory perception. The person would be the, the person who hiding the colors would be the sender, he, and he would cover the cover the colors that he's chosen, kind of try to concentrate on those colors, and have the other person try to concentrate and receive those the the uh, arrangement of colors there, and then they would see they would they would tell what they believe where they believe those colors are, and they would. We try it again. See how many they got correct. Uh, let's see. If you were, if you got um, none of them correct, you, we'd say you, you were blocked. <laughs> if you had one out of the three, you'd be guessing. Two out of the three is a high extrasensory perception level, and a three of three is a clairvoyant. The other way to, to uh, look at these is the probabilities of these of selecting the correct colors is uh, rather difficult. To get one correct, for instance, is uh, you get a one in four chance to get one correct. You have a one in sixteen chance to get two correct, and to get three, all three correct in the right order, uh, would be one in sixty-four chance. You'd have one in one in sixty-four chances of getting that correct. Those all those three correct. So there's the game. Thank you.